In Spain this morning, the U.S. Defense Secretary accused Russia of escalating Syria's civil war. Holly Williams is in Istanbul, Turkey, where a Russian jet along the Syrian border this morning caused some panic. Holly, good morning. Good morning. The government here in Turkey says a Russian warplane operating out of Syria violated Turkish airspace, prompting it to scramble F-16 fighter jets. That news comes as Russia continues its airstrikes in Syria. The Russian Defense Ministry released this cockpit video, which it claims shows its fighter jets hitting ISIS positions in Syria, including a command center, a training camp, and an ammunition depot. But many of the locations that Russia says it hit are in areas where there is no ISIS presence. The US and its coalition partners say what Russia is really doing in Syria is propping up the Syrian regime by launching strikes on those who oppose the government. The Syrian president, Bashar al-Assad, makes no distinction between the moderate opposition and ISIS, describing all of them as terrorists. In his first interview since Moscow began launching airstrikes, the Syrian dictator said the Russian campaign has to succeed or else the entire region faces destruction. But the U.S. says that peace in Syria can only be achieved if Assad leaves office. The four-year-long Syrian civil war has now claimed more than a quarter of a million lives, many of them killed by the regime's indiscriminate bombing of civilian areas. President Assad also claimed in that interview that U.S. airstrikes in Syria have been counterproductive and have actually helped spread terrorism. Nora.